Okay, this might be a little bit scuffed, but I'm going to try to explain how I have some CVs set up coming from the computer to the Behringer 2600 and the other gear that takes CVs. So I have a second DAW here um, in relation to my first one, and it's going to a second sound card, and it's going to a separate audio interface that is DC coupled. So this is voltage modular, and this is my patch here. These are all modulation sources, and they're going to um, these eight outputs at the top, and then they're being sent uh, out from through ADAT and to these DC coupled outs. So I'm going to show you a little bit how I have this going. First, I've got these waveform thing. And it'll do, put it over there. So, one sec. So, this is a MIDI controller and it's going to voltage modular and going to the various modules and VCAs to control their level. And then this is splitting the eight modulation sources. It can be panned to one of two ways and it has a level here as well. So the way this works, I have a sound here. If I bring up this LFO, Have the rates here. Hold on, there's one of these coming through. So these buttons disable them. So this one is an oscillator and it's being modulated by this LFO. So these are going to the filter and VCO2, which is modding the filter, so I can select one or the other here. And they have levels here. So we'll put these in the middle. Next I have a noise. Right. And filtering the noise here. For the next one, I have a stepped random source. And then a smooth random source. And then a sine wave LFO. And uh, another LFO with mixed shapes. And then a looping envelope. So if you want to see what these look like, the LFO is the um, red signal. So if we speed it up, you can see the red one start to move. And then two, 
the yellow is this one. If we slow it down. And then the green is the noise. Uh, at least I thought it was the noise. It must be something else. Blue is the random. And other blue is the other random. This is pink is the LFO. And yellow is the other LFO. And the looping envelope is the green one. So these can all be mixed together. And we can decide where they go to the filter or the oscillator. It's going to be pretty messy. I can mute them with these buttons. Now, this thing, I have it on mix, but we can switch it to just one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, or off, or a mix of all of them. So if I bring these down, doesn't matter what's going on here, if these are down, we don't get anything. So there's not a lot of options for sound cards and DC coupled interfaces to do this with, but there are a few. Um, if I think of any, I'll post in the comments. Or I'll update the description. So I just wanted to give you a rough idea of what I'm doing this way. <laughs> 